I've been using Pixel phones since the Pixel 2, and after all these years, there are certain features that stood out to me. These features are the main reason why my daily driver is still a Pixel. Some of these features are not exclusive to Pixel devices, while others are. But either way, let me share with you the top 10 mobile features Google ever made. So let's jump in. At the top of my list is Hum to Search. I remember seeing Google's ad for this feature, and it was like a dream come true. We all wished Shazam could do this back in the day, and yes, we all tried singing to Shazam, hoping it will identify the song, but sadly, it never worked. In contrast, with Hum to Search, you can sing, whistle, or hum whatever comes to your mind, and it always works. After trying this feature, I got too excited and immediately published a video to show you how it works. That was four years ago when the channel was a lot smaller. It was somewhere around the 40k subscribers, but it got me 369k views, which is a big number for such a small channel. Three months later, I published another one for iOS that got me 753k views, which is almost the double. That reflects how people were too excited about Hum to Search and how it did help me grow that channel back then. Number two is now playing. This feature is exclusive to Pixel phones since the Pixel 3, and whoever thought about this feature should be one of the smartest Google employees ever. Till now, there is nothing like it on any OS. I use it almost daily. Wherever I go when a song plays nearby, I stare at my phone and immediately see its name. Not only this, but it saves the history. So every now and then, I check the list and pick few tracks that go straight to my likes playlist on YouTube Music. Imagine if my daily driver is an iPhone or a Samsung, I would have missed hundreds of songs. Feature number three is astrophotography, which is another Pixel exclusive since 2019. The first video I published about this feature got me almost 900k views even before reaching my first 1k subscribers, which is crazy. I personally used this feature a lot. I take a tripod on every trip I make just to take some stunning astrophotos. Yes, it takes a long time to capture a single photo, but it's certainly worth it. I never thought of capturing photos like this on a mobile phone five years ago, which was a big hit back then. Number four is Google Assistant version two released back in 2019. This is the first iteration of Google Assistant that supports back-to-back -back commands, and it was legendary. Till now, Google's smartest AI assistant, Gemini, cannot do the same, so take a look at this snippet from my original video. Set the alarm at 8 a.m. Remind me to call my friend tomorrow morning. Okay, I'll remind you tomorrow at 8 a.m. Add milk, bread, and cheese to my shopping list. What's on my shopping list? Take a note. What's the note? This is a test. What are my notes? Turn off all the lights. Turn on Wi-Fi. Increase, increase the brightness by 5%. Increase volume by 5%. Show me London photos. The ones with buses. Share on WhatsApp. Reply, it was an amazing trip. I gave it more than 10 back-to-back -back commands and it did all of them without a single mistake. In contrast, Gemini cannot even show me the photos in my gallery. Number five is Google Lens. I cannot tell you how many times this feature did help me in my daily life. I use it to translate street signs and food menus when I travel, convert images into text and add it to my notes for later use, get more information about certain products, and more. Circle to Search made it even more useful by immediately triggering Google Lens over any screen to do all the actions you need. Number six is Android 12 Material U theming, and this new styling technique was the first of its kind. Every time you set a new wallpaper, your whole phone adapts to it. Your home screen app icons, the quick settings, the keyboard, the apps, and more. Even Apple copied this feature with iOS 18, but it doesn't look as good nor as integrated as Android's Material U. Talking about wallpapers, let me remind you about the Wallpapers by In-Depth Tech Reviews app. If you like any of the wallpapers I use in my videos, that's where you can find them. 
I release 12 new wallpapers every week. It provides you with multiple styling options like the blur, brightness, and hue to make your wallpaper stand out. With the ability to edit your home and lock screen wallpapers separately, sync your favorites across all your devices, and more. The Google Play Store download link is in the description. And now let's move on to the next feature. Number seven is assistant voice typing. And this is the smartest voice typing I have ever seen. By the way, I use it every day to reply to your comments, which saves me a lot of time. It's not only accurate, but it punctuates. You can delete, undo, or replace any text by just using your voice, which is something no other keyboard offers, even though this feature is three years old. Number eight is magic editor. A lot of people don't like the fact that AI changes the real photo into something else. While it can do that, but you don't have to use it that way. For me, it adds a peace of mind. For example, if something is blocking the view or someone entered the frame out of the blue, I can erase both of them without a problem. Or maybe place the subject the right way in case the photographer didn't give much attention. So you can choose the level of change that makes you comfortable. And these touches fix the photos rather than transforming them. Based on my previous comparisons with Apple's and Samsung versions, Magic Editor is the best, as it handles the most complicated scenarios much better. Number nine is best take. If you usually take group photos, you will certainly appreciate having this feature. Same as Magic Editor, it gives you that peace of mind. As you don't need to make everyone look at the camera and have the perfect smile exactly at the same time, because you can simply fix it in post and make everyone look their best. Number 10 and the last one on my list is Add Me. Even though it's useful and works well, but the reason why it's the last one on my list is because the use case is kinda rare. I didn't come across enough scenarios to make it a game changer for me, but when the right moment comes, it makes a difference. Beside this list, I want to give an honorable mention to three small pixel exclusive features that in my opinion are very underrated. Number one is quick phrases. Just say answer when the call comes in and your phone automatically picks up and puts it on a speaker. Perfect for when your hands are full, no hand wiping scramble required. You can also use it to decline calls or to snooze and stop alarms just as easily which is something I use daily to stop my work alarm, continue sleeping, and roll into work 30 minutes late. So how amazing is that? I sleep 30 minutes more every day. The second one is the ability to copy text or images from the recent apps screen, which is something we have for ages, and you will never find it anywhere else. This is amazing because if I came across a photo or text that I want to share, I no longer need to take a screenshot and fill my phone's storage with the stuff that I will never use again. All I need to do is to select, share, and forget about it. The last one is Live Translate. While I didn't use it that much, but the ability to watch any conversation in any app magically transform into your own language is mind-blowing. With the ability to reply in your own language makes it even more convenient. So these are the top mobile features Google ever created in my opinion, and I'm curious to know about yours in the comments below. But for now, thanks much for watching, and see you in the next video.